I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Alex drawer units. In this case, you're going to have four of these, and I'll show you how to put them in use with IKEA Limnon uh, desktops to create this small office here. Let's go and do it. Okay, we have one box with this IKEA Alex drawer unit. This is all the parts you're gonna get, few screws, instruction manual you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video. Just gonna open everything up, not gonna go now through all this, we're gonna go one by one through all the parts. First, you're gonna have two side panels and the uh, rails are already mounted on it, so one job less to do it. Open your screws, good practice, put all your screws in order. You're gonna have a better idea what you're working with. Here, just to remind you, there is going to be two locks. One is uh, one going to be smaller, one bigger ones. The smaller is going to go for the drawers, the bigger one for the frame. Okay, we're going to start with those screws. And then there is a three screws on each side of the side panel. Don't go deeper than the stopper going to let you. There is a small stopping point on the screw. Uh, exactly the same on the other side panel, three screws on the side. Just till the stopper not deeper or higher. Locks, three locks on the top of the side panels. Three for each of the side panel. Important thing, the arrow on the lock, you see the small arrow at the front. Where is the opening part of the lock? Arrow is facing to the hole at the front, always. If you turn this different way or the way around, you're not going to be able to put the panel to close the panels together so make sure you do this part to save yourself just a headache and postponing the assembly so the arrow always facing to the front or to the hole it's basically through that hole gonna come another screw and you, then you can lock it so if you twist the lock to the other side you're not gonna be able to lock it here we're gonna have three of these very similar panels one is gonna be top one back and one bottom so check out which panel is which one. This one doesn't have the holes on the top, so there's gonna be top panel. This one have the big locks holes, so three on each side, six holes together. That's gonna be the back panel, which we're gonna work on now. And we have three locks, which they gonna lock the panel between the side panels. So place the locks in, and exactly the same as previously, the arrow is facing to the front see the front hole so that's where the opening is on the lock exactly for all six of them just place them all the way in and now we can put the wooden plugs on the side two on each side use hammer of course not your hands as i'm doing there and exactly the same on the other side two wooden plugs just place it in and you have the panel ready for to be connected now we can place the panel into the side panel. So if you point the locks, the arrow of the lock on the right in the right direction, you're not gonna have a problem here. Just twist the lock to the right side. I'm using electric screwdriver there with a clutch, which is very useful here so you not overrun the locks or screws. By the way, all the tools are in the description, so you can find them there, whatever I'm using. Here exactly the same other side panel joined together the arrow in the right position on the locks and we twist the lock to the right side so we have kind of u-shape now of the frame for the drawer and now we're gonna do the top part and we can prepare the screws and it's gonna be three screws on each side exactly the same screws with the stopper so don't go deeper or higher on the stopper otherwise you're gonna have a problem to lock the connection so this is the top panel where the top panel is gonna go there is two wooden plug on each side of the side panel so that's gonna be the top panel we did it on the left there with the six screws this is the one so there is no holes on the top so that's how we would you know that's a top panel just place it in to the right holes and you can secure this panel all the way in there it is nice and tight and once you all the way in no gaps on the side you can put it down and secure all the six locks just twist the lock to the right side you see this is the screwdriver the bigger one i have electric screwdriver and a drill together which have a clutch which you adjust how 
you adjust the torque how strong you want to go and you're not going to overrun the screws or break the break any screws here on the other side you're going to put this is the bottom four wooden plugs in and this is the bottom part that is the side where it's going to go the legs so that's the side and the other side is without the holes for the legs so put the right side right way and place it in there is a holes through this panel which they go all the way through you're gonna use different screws on this side and this is the screws so those screws they're gonna go through the bottom panel to the side panels and it's six of them here the electric screwdrivers useful you're not gonna need to work hard if you don't have it you can do it without with this one with the allen key but if you have already some kind of tools you can use them and you're gonna speed up your work uh, dramatically you can check them out in the description all the tools i'm using uh, the links are there here it is all six screws secured and this is the legs for the bottom of the drawer just place them in there's no screws nothing just place them into the holes in the corners and is it all done that's the last one all four legs in place now we can turn the drawer upside down and put it on the side as this is the frame for the drawer done now we're gonna do the drawers you're gonna have five drawers three bigger ones and two smaller ones here we have exactly the same screws as for the frame for the smaller drawer front there is a two screws one on each side secure them in just till the stopper as i mentioned before and for three bigger drawers there is two screws on each side so four screws for the bigger one in total and two screws for the smaller drawer front in total there it is you got three bigger three two smaller drawer fronts and now this is the sides and you can see it is two left and two right there's two dots two color dots on the right side and on the left there is no any dots so two left two right wooden plugs just place them in so one for each front each side panel for the drawers and now we can place the locks this is a small locks which i mentioned before you're gonna have two sizes so this is the smaller locks for the drawer side panels arrow in the right direction as always as i mentioned before that arrow always facing the front where is the hole okay this is for the smaller ones and for the bigger one we're gonna have slightly bigger uh, side panels for the drawer here it is and exactly the same as for the smaller ones there's gonna be three left and three right you see the dots at the bottom and on the other side there is no dots so one is left and one is right now we can put exactly the same the locks for the drawer so there is going to be two locks on each side and the same will apply as always with these locks there's an arrow at the front and that arrow gonna point to the front hole as i mentioned if you twist this lock the other way around you're not going to be able to close the connection without the gap so save yourself headache and frustration by doing things right okay now we can connect the drawers this is the bigger one so we're going to put one left one right and we can secure straight away the connection see the arrows pointing to the right way so there is no problem to secure the drawer and exactly the same on the other side you're gonna do the the right one or left one what which from whichever side you're looking this is the back panel coming in there is a gaps on the side and on the front panel so that's how you can see as well if you're in the right place gaps are gonna match i'm gonna show you in detail in the other drawer in the second drawer here at the back there is the two plastics coming in just secure them in it's not screws just with a hammer exactly the same on the other side turn it around and secure it in Okay, one drawer is done so here is the bigger drawer you see the gaps 
on the front panel and on the side panels so the gaps stay matching once you put the side panel in if you put it on the other side you would have the gap on the other side so the gaps gonna create this u-shape where you place the bottom panel of the drawer exactly the same on the other side place it in you see the gap is matching nicely so that's how it's supposed to be secure the locks twist it to the right side and place the bottom panel of the drawer and the back panel of the drawer the back panel of the drawer coming between those gaps just slide it all the way in on one side and exactly the same on the other side place it in that's how it is you see it's all the way there is a small gap where you can place it put it down and secure it with the two plastic plugs from the each side other side exactly the same place those two plastic plugs in and we have second one done and it's exactly the same with the third one all done not gonna bother you with the with it because it's exactly the same i'm just gonna show you the smaller one so you have one left one right side panels for the drawers here is only one screw and one wooden plug that's different between the small and bigger drawer and exactly the same you see the gaps matching nicely so just place the side panel in one left one right and secure the locks now back panel coming in through the gaps and the gap in the front panel of the drawer and the back panel have a gap as well and go in between those two gaps on the side place it at the bottom slide it in and it's all the way in exactly the same on the other side just open it up slightly and slide between the gaps there it is now we have two of these plastic plugs exactly the same as for the bigger ones and we have the drawer ready same with the with the other drawer so we have two small and three bigger drawers now we can place them in into the frame just slide it in lift it up slightly and there is going to be two screws on the side just show you in a moment just place it all the way in those small screws they're going to secure the drawer from inside so just place them in through the side panel find the hole in the drawer in the drawer rail and secure it so the drawer not gonna come out completely it's gonna be stopped once it's out exactly the same with the second one slide it in see there's the small hole in the drawer rail which you're gonna secure it through You can do it when the drawer is closed or you can open the rail as you see here and then slide it all the way in it depends how how you prefer both both uh, methods are working so whatever is easier for you and then secure it with those two screws on the side after i'm gonna finish this assembly i'm gonna show you how to organize the table what's your option with this uh, alex drawer unit it's gonna show you the small office i did before uh, how I finish it with those uh, with the Limnon uh, desktops but for now let's finish this drawer and then I show you examples or options what you have uh, with those Alex drawers basically they used instead of the legs or you can buy the legs as well from IKEA they have it options there but I show you that in a moment let's finish this drawer unit so this is the first small drawer just place it in the top one is a bit tricky regarding those securing screws so you have to place it all the way in and then push the drawer out with the rail so you see the rail is holding on the side if not just pull the rail out manually and then secure the screws through the side it's two small screws there securing the drawer from coming out completely one side one on the other side Small electric screwdriver are a big help in any kind of DIY or assembly jobs. Links in the descriptions as always if you want to check it out what I'm using. Here it is. This is the IKEA Alex drawer assembly and now I'm going to show you how to use them with the Limnon desktops. If you want to create your small office or table for the, for the kids, 
homework or whatever whatever job you gonna do on it there was those small plastics which they coming on the top and here it is you can have them as a sep as a legs so you see you have those limnon tops in this case there is only two but we're gonna have the corner as well unfortunately the corner wasn't matching with the sizes so i have to cut it then on the top we use the units which is hanging over and here it is you see two on the side on each side so we have four of these and there is the middle part which is has to be which i have to cut the parts on the side the shape matching nicely as you can see it here so it is possible to cut the limb on top so i cut those on the side and then position them so the middle is lining up uh, sitting on the on the alex drawer units and then you have those uh, units here which they're hanging on the top is a part of the small office here you can see here is supported from those alex drawer units on the side and on the middle there is the leg supporting the corner part so that's how you can use ikea alex drawer units i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always you will make my day see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day mm -hmm.